Welcome to CEO Chronicles, the natural hair edition, where we will look into the businesses and lives of natural hairstylists, natural hair salons, and natural beauties. Hi, I'm your host, Valeria Seral. The holidays are quickly approaching, and this is the time for family, fun, friends, and food. Today I have the opportunity of speaking with Carlina Will. Hi. Hi. She's going to talk to me about her business, cooking with Carlina, and being a personal chef. I wanted to ask you, what does being natural mean to you? Being natural means to me being comfortable in your own skin and happy with who you are and how God made you. And I'm happy like with no makeup on. I think I just have like lip gloss on right now. And even though my hair is like naturally curly, I like to wear it straight, but I don't have a relaxer. So I'm still in a natural family. So you don't have a relaxer. Have you ever had a relaxer? I, I can honestly tell you guys, I'm 25 years old and I've never had a relaxer ever. And you know, that's very rare that, um, you know, African-Americans, they can't say that they never had a relaxer or even a jerry curl. I mean, some form of chemicals. Would you say that not having a relaxer actually actually contributes to the health of your hair? I can honestly say it definitely does because those chemicals damage your hair and your natural curl pattern. Whereas if you do like more organic type of shampoos, like I love to use like tea tree and stuff like that on my hair, it makes it very soft and um, you use heat protectant, uh, products to protect your hair and your natural curl pattern so like when I straighten it even when I wash it and it goes straight back curly like I still have my natural curls so it's pretty cool. Would you say that your journey as a naturalista has been beneficial to you? It has. I've definitely gotten a lot of backlash unfortunately from the natural community because they they think that I don't appreciate my natural curls and stuff like that from wearing my hair straight and I just want to tell people it doesn't matter because I think most of the pe these people who became natural, again, they've had relaxers. So I'm like, I think I'm the most natural out of everyone because I've never had it. So to that, I say, if you like to wear your hair straight, cool. If you like to wear weaves, cool. If you like to wear your hair in natural curl pattern, cool. Just be who you are as long as you're happy. You're exactly right. Be who you are yeah. as long as you're happy. Exactly. I love that. <laughs> So as a businesswoman and entrepreneur, you are a personal chef. Yes. Um, tell me a little bit about how did you get started cooking? I started cooking, I would say, around the age of 12, mostly from learning from my grandmother. So I used to go to their house in the summer. So my grandmother on my dad's side is from the South, and then my grandmother on my mother's side is from the Caribbean, which is where you see that Caribbean Southern mix in my recipes. But I got to give my mom credit because my mom and I have been ba baking together since I was seven, and that's like how we bonded. That, that's how you actually got started. How did you go from uh, cooking to creating it as a business and making profit from it yeah so well my friend she had a party and her private chef didn't show up so she bought ingredients and she's like hey Carlina I know you know how to cook can you cook for my party and I said sure and the guests love my food so much that um, they were like you should turn this into a business and I was like okay so I started off with my YouTube channel and then people found me from it and that's where I am today and who do you cook for I mean are you I know that you've had opportunities to be on TV shows yeah. and you've had opportunities to cook for a few celebrities uh, name some people who you've cooked for and also do you cook for um, regular people as well I do, uh, as far as celebrities I've cooked for Todrick Hall the Hemsworth brothers Rebecca Breeds Luke Mitchell Todd LaSantz um, and also a lot of directors and producers here in the industry like if they need catering or things like that like you know if it's like six people because we always recommend if it's over 25 to 30 people as private chefs we always recommend that you get a catering service so anything less than that like a group party or something like that or a meeting we usually cook for so yeah Did you um, actually go to school for it at any point? I did it. So I'm similar to uh, Rachel Ray and Martha Stewart. We're called homestyle chefs. So that essentially means like we learned at home when we didn't go to culinary school. And I think we're the best chefs. No <laughs> offense, Gordon Ramsay. Right. I mean, that, that home cooking is a, <laughs> is a good thing, right? Yeah. Because everybody loves, you know, home cooked meals, right? Exactly. So, exactly. Um, 
you've appeared on shows like Rachel Ray yeah. and The Real. Mm -hmm. Do you think those shows have been beneficial to your business? And if so, how? I definitely think doing those shows have helped me get more followers and more people to, I think, take me more seriously in the entertainment industry. So I would love to work with them. Again, I still work with Rachel. So um, yeah, hopefully we can make this like a full-time thing, Rach. <laughs> I see you going for Rachel Ray here, right? Yeah, that's my girl. <laughs> so, Carlina, yeah. so you're, you're actually going to show me um, a drink that we can make during the holidays if we have family and friends over, right? Absolutely. It's really healthy for you, and your friends are going to love it, and they're going to be like, wait, this is spinach in here? And you're going to be like, yes, because it's healthy, and it's for the holidays. So, yeah. Okay, so what are we making? We are making a manic smoothie. You guys know previously, if you watch my show, that my mom comes up with these crazy names for our recipes. So, of course, manic mango spinach smoothie. See what we did there? <laughs> so, we're going to make that, and and I'm actually gonna take her mic because she's gonna do the cooking. Okay. I'm taking a break. Well, I'm, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put the things together. Yes. And I see we have uh, whiskey here, right? We do have whiskey. Um, you know, I'll see if, if based on your cooking, I, I'll treat you to some whiskey at the end. We'll see how it oh, goes. Okay, so we're treating with whiskey. Okay, cool. Let's, whiskey. let's do this. I'm let's ready. Do, I'm, I'm motivated ready? now. Okay. We make it? So how first, you're going to take the top off the blender, okay. and then you're going to put in two cups of spinach, right? So this is our spinach. We have two cups of spinach, and we're putting both of them in, in yes. there, right? Both of them in there. So you want to make sure you get all the spinach out. Get all the spinach out. You got to, like, dig in there. And... And just push it down. There you go. Push it down. Put this in there. Perfect. Okay, All right, so you're I'm pushing that down. Push that down in there. Okay, then grab one cup of sliced and diced mango. And this is one cup. One cup. This right. is a lot for a cup. It's a lot. Mangoes. I love mangoes. You can add a cup and a half. And a half. Maybe. <laughs> one here. Yeah. No They're good, right? Nice and fresh. Mm, that is good. Right? Okay. Okay, then you're going to add in two tablespoons of honey okay so you can do that two tablespoons just dump it in there <laughs> i was being fancy whatever we got this okay yeah so i'm yes. just gonna put all because i like you love, sweet i love, love it sweet honey. so and i, I love honey mango helps it sweet yeah it sweet as well we're just doing there you know and even if you want to like take some of your water which we have here and so our base is water our right? base is water and we're going to use some ice as well and uh, how much water is this this is not a full cup just no a little is fine i would say a six okay six is fine well yeah because if we're adding ice this contributes to water exactly water. and this is just one cup of ice i would say for us we can do one cup of ice starting right now okay. if so, so if the on button Bam! Okay, so we blend this until we don't hear the ice crunching anymore. Exactly. Until it's just like a nice, smooth consistency, correct? Exactly. Oh, that's so pretty. Look how green and pretty that is. Yeah, it reminds me of like the Grinch for the holidays. <laughs> well, I'm not going to be a Grinch, but... So that's well, one's nice for guy. you. And, and then here's your cup. Okay. That one's for you. And it's like really healthy, but it's also good. So, cheers! <laughs> some whiskey in okay, there. Let's pass some whiskey in there. Here, <laughs> open it up. You do the honors. So this is like for Deck the Halls Christmas or something if you just want to like add an extra oh, holiday so cheer. good. Right? So when we, you say just a little splash, you can splash do, of whiskey. Well, for me, you're going to do more than a splash, but for you, yes. <laughs> <laughs> a little splash. Well, yeah. a lot of splash of whiskey. Oh, uh, yeah. There we go. There we go. So, okay, this is different because I've never heard that you can actually put whiskey in a smoothie. Mm -hmm. And it's still a little healthy, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Mm. Bottoms up. Bottoms up. Yep. Add whiskey to your smoothies. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
That's really good. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we have made um, drinks. I mean, I, you've made drinks, uh, specialty drinks and smoothies and different types of drinks. You incorporate that into your cooking. Why do you feel that that is a part of cooking? Because I feel like when you sit down at a table for your meal, like with your friends, I start you from uh, square A all the way to square Z. You know what I mean? So the drinks are included in a meal, right? When you sit down, you have your appetizer, your main dish, your desserts, and your drinks when you sit down for dinner or lunch or breakfast. And I want my channel and my website to incorporate all of that so no one's like, oh, Carly doesn't have drinks on her page. Let me go to somebody else. No. I you got that covered, right? <laughs> where can people reach you if they if they want to get in contact you uh, contact with you? Where can people reach you? Yeah, you guys can reach me on my website www.cookingwithcarlina.com, and I'm also very active on my social media pages. I have my Instagram, which is at cookingwithcarlina.com. My Facebook is Cooking with Carlina. I think everything's Cooking with Carlina if you Google it. But yeah, and I love it when people recreate my recipes and tag me in them. So feel free to do that and just like comment on my page and yeah. Excited. I see cooking with Carlina going very far. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm excited. I had fun. I look forward to any time. I look forward to seeing you on Rachel Ray and having your own show and all of that. I look forward to it. Of course, of course. Feel, you're welcome here anytime. <laughs> awesome. Thank Thanks you. For having me. You're welcome. Thank you for watching CEO Chronicles. And as always, we encourage you to become your own CEO. We're gonna finish this drink. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs>